Now, here with me on this board are actually five things about money that majority of the people learn about it too late in life. You know what? I do deal with the majority of the people and some of the guys who call me are quite elderly people. They tell me, you know what, Joseph? I think I messed up. Actually, when I realize and actually check about it, I'll be like, no, I don't think you think you messed up. You actually messed up. And some people tend to learn about these things late. And by the way, do you know one thing? This is the only thing that is never taught about in any given school. Whether you go to the first world, second, third, whichever the country that you come in or from, this is thing that is never taught in school. Now, what are these things? And if we learn them about or if we learn about them today, then what change can we make so that at least we don't regret about it in future? And that is exactly what I'm going to share with you. And guess what? I know time is of essence. I'm going to share this video in less than 15 minutes and I'm going to share everything. The only thing that you need to do is to just go ahead and like the video. It does not affect you watching this video. Again, it's free and make sure that you like the video, hit that thumbs up and that is exactly what we do about. Okay, let's go to the point. Now, see, what are these five things about money that people learn about it when it's too late? Point number one, money is energy. What does it mean? Money is energy and put it on the flow. Remember one thing when we were in high school, we were told that energy cannot be created, neither can it be destroyed, but can be transformed from one form to the other. See, when you take the money and hold it and you hold it and you press it towards you in a very dearly way, it will always find a way to slip out of your hands and flow back to the system. The money can realize this guy does not even know how to handle us. And I always made, I made a video about sometimes back and I said money is very spiritual. Depends on how you view it. Money is actually an energy. Okay. And it being an energy, you have to put it on the system. And when you apply the rightful system, as far as the money is concerned, you're actually telling the money. It's like you're taking a fish out of the water. The fish will actually die because you're taking the fish out of its ecosystem. But if you take it back, the fish will behave rightly and the fish will actually survive. The same case applies to the money. You take money out of the system because the whole system and the structure that you have, for example, right now, we're on this platform. This is about money. The YouTube thing is all about money. All right. Probably you're here about money. You want to learn about money. Everything ends up about money. Probably if you just go to any town and see people moving up and down, it's all about money. People who are going to shop, people who are going to the market, people are going to hospital, people are going to, uh, you know, and, uh, all those, it's all about money. So it's uh, in a system. So when you take the money out of the system, you're taking money out of the flow of the energy and it's an energy. Once you take it back, it will always find a way to go back to the system. And that's why you find, hey, I had like 20,000 last week. I don't have it. Why? Because you don't know how to create a system. You don't know how to make sure that the money is on the system. And that's why people say, once you get the money, put it on the system, let it flow with the other energy. And that is exactly how it grows and it will actually respect you and it always come back. There is this saying that says, you know what, even if all the money that was actually divided equally among everyone, let's say we have like 50 trillion US dollars on earth, then we go with withdraw that money and then we divide it equally amongst all the human beings that you have on earth. Guess what happens? It will end up in the pockets of the wealthy people. Why? Because it's about the mind, the mentality, the structure that you lay down that will help you to attract that money. By the way, you know what? I think money is the thing that we don't even have a trap. We don't even have any have a trap, okay? About how we can attract it. Let's go to the point number two. Money is actually a state. It has situation. It's like an illusion. Money is a state, is a situation. What does it mean? When you say this guy is wealthy, what makes you say the guy is wealthy? You say the guy is wealthy based on the situation of that guy he or she is. Why? You say the guy has a lot of that what we look for, that energy, that money. So the guy is in a state of having the excess. By the way, have you ever thought about this? Money is always, or let's say the riches is always the excess of the basics. Riches is the excess of the basics. For example, the basics, the food, the shelter, and the clothing. All right? So when you lack the basic, you're in a state of poor. You are in, this is the state that you are in or the situation that you are in. You are poor because the money that you have or the cash that you have cannot cater for the basics. Therefore, when you say we are, you, are, you are rich, is actually you have a disposable income. The whole essence of getting money is to achieve the basic human things needs. But now, when you actually achieve the basic, you go to the next level. That's when we say you are rich. You are rich because you have more than the need. 
amount of money more than the basics okay so when i say it's a state it's a situation and this is why you find like the point number two may actually marry with the point number three which is you will never have enough of it you cannot define say like an x amount of money will be enough for example an average mind will be like elon musk is arguably the richest person on earth you'll be like well depends on when you're watching this video probably if you watch this video after 20 years might be the good joseph might not be the elon musk so you'll be like see you get what i'm saying so now the point is now you, you you cannot say like hey for example if you ask me today like how much joseph if i give you today you stop making these videos you talk about looking about the money you just relax you cannot really have a definite figure be like guess what it will be a next amount of money if you get that amount of money then i'll be good to go no see the moment you conquer the basics you know when you do not have the money you deal with your situation for example if you can't eat you can't drink you can't pay the rent usually look as much as you can the money to cater for the basics the moment you conquer the basics you go to the next level ah oh, wow at least i can eat i can drink i can dress now hmm, i need to eat and drink and dress but on a different stage then you do exactly that the moment you achieve that now i need to dress but not just a basic dressing by the way you know we came out from but do you know when the, you can just imagine the guy who invented the clothing the basic principle of a clothing was to just hide the nakedness if we no longer put on the clothes to just for example if i show up here i cannot just show up with a hide of a, of a car or, or whatever i just want to show up with a coat of a decent clothing so it's no longer just only catering the you know hiding the nakedness we are moving to a level whereby you want to put on a designer clothing and what have you so the moment you conquer the basics now you go to the next step i need a car i just want to don't want to walk foot from one point to the next to get a car the moment you get a car i just don't need a car i just need a good car i want to look good when moving from point a to point b when you book you get what i'm saying the moment you conquer all those kind of things now you start thinking about how can i then influence my locality how can i influence my where i come from and that's why we say the ultimate thing that you achieve when you access the situation of the money is the power the moment you have the money then you look for the power power to safeguard the money and to control the mass and the moment you do that you go to the next level and that kind of a thing so the point is is a situation is a state sort of an illusion and guess what happened? you will never have enough of it the what you think we do is to compartmentalize the dreams the dream of a million the dream of 10 the dream of billion the dream of a trillion so when you achieve this goal you celebrate you go to the next one you get the because i tend to believe that the moment you have no goal that you can achieve it's like you have switched off it's like you've switched off the machine and that is exactly how you face off from this world but when you keep yourself into this perpetual movement when you're looking for money that is actually propagate you to the next level but take that information with a pinch of salt why because you can as well be a slave of money you can be a slave of money in the sense like you don't even, you lose what you call the human touch the human fabric the social fabric in you just gets off and by the way before i even continue with the point number four and number five have you ever seen this the moment you're just living in a basic life maybe say you live in a, a plot or a piece of property where you are like you are hundred of you the moment you get a little bit of money you think about where you can go to another piece of property where you can read but you're not a hundred of you like you are ten of you you move to a point of like where can i live in a place where i have like two of us then you go to a point like hmm, i just want to build my own home i just want to live alone the moment you live alone then you realize that you have like immediate neighbors you're like hmm, i just want to live by myself in a quite a huge chunk of land you go live in a place where the wealthy live you know live the leafy suburbs and what have you the moment you get more money you're like guess what how about i can get myself like a thousand acres i build at the middle of nowhere where i just live myself the moment you get the money and you leave or la you you lack what you call the human you tend to lose what you call the human fabric the social fabric you tend up to live by yourself because you tend to think like other guys are not like quite quite of essence or something of sort so the money you cannot have enough of it so what we do is to appreciate every step that you make because if you do not appreciate every stride that you make you can actually get into the slavery and once you get into the slavery i'm telling you there is nothing worse of this one like being a slave of looking the money whereby you cannot even appreciate you you are not you don't have what you call the gratitude you know it's good to it is good to to be focused aim for more aim for more as you move to the next level but in, in between have what you call the gratitude be an individual who be like hmm, wow this is so amazing i achieved this i'm so happy you find the reason to celebrate and don't just prolong the celebration you go to the next level striving the next thing you go to the next level striving the thing you go change the world i mean change your country change your community change the world you leave a great legacy and actually you'll say hey guess what god grace will actually reign and reign and 
God's name will actually be glorified. If that, you come from that lineage, okay? Now, we go to the point number four. It is never made. It is attracted. And this is where people, most of the people get it wrong. You realize this when it's like, what? Money is never made. It's actually attracted. Why am I saying this? It's only government that makes money. You yourself, you can't make money. For example, if governments just be like, hmm, government can just show up to the printing machine or the printing press and be like, guess what, guys? Go ahead and print like one trillion. They just brrr, they produce one trillion. They have just made money out of the thin air. For example, you know why I'm saying out of thin air? You see, when um, let's say it cost like and I gave I gave that example back, back for. Let's say it costs like one dollar to to rub this specific board. So when somebody rubs this board and I pay them that one dollar, it is actually an earned money. You've attracted that money from me if I pay you to rub this board. Now when government just Nothing has happened, no economic activity has actually backed that money, but 100 trillion has actually been printed. That money has actually been produced from a thin air. That's why you have the inflation and what have you. So you yourself as an inhuman being, you cannot make money, all right? Unless you're a thief, of which I highly discourage. You only attract money. How do you attract money? For example, say you show value to people. For example, these great people who play the football. They show up in a single week or that weekend. Obviously, there is a very hard working uh, that we never see on the camera. They come on the, on the weekend. They play a very nice football. That week, salary comes in. So they attract that money. And remember one thing. The amount you get paid, you are paid by perceived value. How valuable are you? You get paid that amount of money. And I always tell you this. The moment you do that, what can be done by the majority of the people, the less amount of money that you'll make. But the moment you climb the niche to a point whereby you have less and less people who can do what you do, that is the time now you become more valuable and more valuable to a point whereby they can pay you even that premium. And there is a level that you actually reach in life whereby it's not them who dictates how much they can pay you. It's you who dictates how much they can pay you. That is exactly. And the moment you reach that particular level, that know that you're now conquering what you call the financial freedom. So money is never made. Money is attracted. You up your game. You up your skills. You do the thing. For example, if you set up a business selling this pen, there are four people showing up to your place to give you money in exchange of that pen that you have. You didn't like compel them they actually gave, came and give you that money and then you give them that pen, all right? The last point, money is actually a tool and not a consumable. It is a tool that can be used to actually make more of it. It is only money that makes money. We don't make anything with, like, you see, we usually say, like, God told Noah to put every human, every animal with its kind so that it can actually go ahead and give birth on its kind. So the same case applies when it comes to money. It is only money that makes money. All right. So therefore, it means it's a money can be actually perceived as a tool to help you make more of that specific thing. So if you view it as a tool, then it will help you uh, to actually make more of it as you move to the next level. So one thing you find that most of the people tend to think, especially maybe if you grew up from a poor background, you're like, guess what? I actually don't have, I don't have this nice shirt because I grew up poor. Therefore, when I get the money, then the first thing that you ring in my head is to buy that nice shirt. For example, personally, I was born poor. I used to love the, these things look like, uh, the, we call them the chapatis here in Kenya and East Africa. Some guys in Western countries, they call them the tortillas. I used to love that thing. It was kind of luxury in our home. So I was like, okay, fine, let me not use that. It's kind of a weird example. We didn't have like beef and, and, and meat and, 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 and those kind of things. So whenever we used to have that thing, it was like a celebration like all the time. And I was like, the moment I'll get money, then I'll be buying that specific thing. So I program myself by, see, we like to eat this because we don't have the money. So when I get the money, then it's a consumable product or it's a product to be consumed to get that specific thing. No, it's usually a tool to help you make more so that when you're actually buying that thing, you're actually buying it not with the sweat money, but rather from the money that is actually been given back by the prime money, the money that you got. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make more videos on these specific things. I promised you that I'm going to use less than 15 minutes and indeed, I'm done with this video and that is exactly. So did you say I promised you on the same? So go ahead and promise me that you're going to like the video. Make sure that you subscribe. Leave me on the comment on the comment section. How about we see each other on the next video? And if you'd like to have a conversation with me, my number is always on the, descri is always on the description of this specific video. See you the next time.